good day class and today we're going to tackle about the lesson 4 but before that let us have a short recap regarding with the lesson 3 which is community recreational light and low impact activity so when we say community recreation this is a collective terms for activities that eliminates boredom encourage physical activities to avoid a sedentary lifestyle stimulate mental activities and involve a lot of people and these activities can be enjoyed by anyone and usually employed to target specific groups of people who have limited physical activity options. Okay, and we have six low impact forms to try. So the, the first one is Pilates. The second one is Power Yield. The third is Swimming. The fourth one is Cross Country Skiing. Five is Elliptical Training. And six is Dancing. Okay, so now we can proceed to the lesson 4, which is community recreation, others recreational activities. So again, let us first define what is community recreation. So in the previous lesson, light and low impact physical activities that serve as community recreation were mentioned. So in this lesson, other forms of uh, community recreation are suggested. Part of the purposes of teaching physical education Particularly, recreation is to provide productive, entertaining, positive, fun, and stress-relieving use of idle time. For people who have free evenings, weekends, long vacations, or are uh, on retirement, community recreation can keep the mind and the body active. So, when we say community recreation, it refers to recreation at the local level like community recreation facilities and community activity programs and includes activities like sports, aquatics, personal development programs, rehabilitation programs, and government initiatives. Okay, so here are some example ng ating mga recreational activity or other recreational activity. The first thing is board games and other tabletop games. These activities keep the mind busy and active while being fun as well. So, ito ay uh, mga mind games din ano, na makakatulong sa atin okay, to keep our mind busy and active while being fun as well habang tayo ay nag -e enjoy So, what are those examples? So, we have chess, scrabbles, or scrabble, checkers, bakamon, bridge, and majong. Then, local games include sungka and dama. The next thing is arts and crafts. So, another way to keep the mind active and creative is to engage in arts and crafts. So, we have painting, pottery, carving, and other similar hobbies can engage people in light to moderate physical activity. Everything from planning a project, preparation of the materials, doing the project itself, and the, po the post-project clean up, serve as fun and productive use of leisure time. So, anything na will keep our mind active and be creative, okay? So, especially in engaging arts and crafts, lahat yan actually ay malaking tulong sa atin. Mas maganda na meron pinagkakabisihan yung ating uh, sarili, okay? So, yung mga painting, pottery, yung mga nabanggit kanina, so, yung mga hobbies na yan, pwedeng ma-engage yung tao into light to moderate physical activity. And we have example dito ng 30 grade cement craft, which is sa YouTube din yun yung makikita. So, pwede nyo i-copy, paste itong link na narito, and pwede nyo siyang panoorin. Okay, and merong isang... Uh, YouTube channel, I think that is 5-minute craft. So, nandun talaga marami kang idea na makukuha paano mo ma-recycle yung iba't ibang bagay. Diba? At paano mo siya magiging, uh, paano siya magiging bago ulit para wala namang sayang. Okay, so ang last part ng ating other recreational activity or other community activity natin is gardening. Gardening is another activity that can keep a person lightly active. Carrying materials from one point, from point to point, I mean, kneeling or squatting down to till the soil. Weed or plant, walking around, watering the plants. These activities 
when light and stress free can help keep a person active. So, sa so panahon natin ngayon, marami ang nag-gardening. Diba? Marami mga plantito at plantita na nahihilig talaga sila sa pagtatanim, pag-aalaga ng mga iba't ibang halaman. Na talaga namang nakakapagbigay sa kanila ng enjoyment. Okay? At nakakapag-engage pa sila into moderate, into light or moderate activity. Diba? Kasi sa simpleng pagbibitbit ng mga materials, diba? Pag, uh, pag-upo, pag-squat, diba? Pag-detail ng soil, and uh, pag-dideleg, diba? So, syempre, maglalakad ka eh, diba? Pupuntahan mo yung iba't ibang location ng iyong mga pananim, diba? So, with that, na- nakaka- or you are already engaging, diba? In to light and moderate activity. Okay, so for our conclusion, board games and other tabletop games, arts and crafts, and gardening are just few examples of light to medium recreational activities that keep the mind and the body active. It also gives a person a sense of satisfaction when he or she finished a work or task. Having this in mind, One can be creative by planning a whole array of activities as functional recreation. And for your activity, kindly answer the essay, essay only. So, write your general definition of outdoor recreation in a sentence or to making sure to identify at least three components that make something outdoor recreation. Okay, so write it on a separate sheet of paper and kindly pass it as soon as possible. Okay, so therefore, again, thank you so much for listening and enjoy answering your modules and activities.